Hey what's up guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install the leaked lollipop firmware on your Galaxy S4 i9-500. So it does not matter what ROM you are coming from, but you need to perform a factory reset before proceeding. And if you are not rooted or on the stock firmware, you can directly follow this tutorial from the timestamp given in the description. Now hit link 1 from the description, download and extract the firmware file. Link 2 will give you Samsung keys, install it on your PC. This is necessary for the drivers. Next, hit link 3, download and install PC Odin. And make sure the version is 3.09. Once done, turn off your device. And guys again, I would like to say that this particular step is for the users coming from a custom ROM. Once the device is off, hold the volume up, power and the home button continuously until you see Galaxy S4 displayed. Now here we need to do a factory reset. Once that is done, go to advanced and turn off your device. So for all the non-root users, you can follow the tutorial from this step. Now hold the down volume, power and home button until you get into the download mode. Now go ahead and connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable and hit the volume up to continue. Leave your phone as it is. Now on your PC, launch Odin. Hit yes. So here you must see the IDCOM tab blue. This means your device is detected. If not, you can try uninstalling and reinstalling the Samsung keys. Leave rest of the settings as it is and hit AP. Navigate to wherever you have the extracted file of the firmware. Select the file that says AP and hit open. Next click BL and choose the file that says BL. Same with CP and CSC respectively. Once all this is done, hit start. So this will take some time, I will be back with you guys once this is done. So guys we are almost done here. Once it says reset or pass, you can unplug your phone from your PC. So the first boot will take some time, just be patient and I will be back with you guys once this is done. So as you can see we have the new boot animation. So there you go guys, we have successfully installed the lollipop leaked firmware on the Galaxy S4. So here we have the setup screen. Uh, this is very similar to what we have seen on the Note 4 and the Galaxy S5. So let me quickly skip through the basic setup. Okay, so that's done. We do get the bloatwares there. Quickly going on to settings. Again, we have the new UI for the settings menu. About device. And as you can see, we are running the Android 5.0.1 Lollipop. We get the Lollipop style notification bar. And in terms of new feature, so far nothing that I have noticed. I was looking for extreme power saving mode, but it's not there. Let's quickly launch the camera. It's working fine. We have the card style multitasking UI. Quickly checking the RAM consumption and there you go. Wi-Fi, GPS, NFC works perfect. And basically in terms of UI, all the stock apps has received the facelift. Uh, everything's like on the Galaxy S5. So you can check that video to see what's new with this firmware. I will leave a link in the description. Another thing that I have noticed is the new font. So yes, basically that's all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for more and you guys have a great time.